of damage there across the region, Matt. And as we said, people cleaning up. And were you surprised that it was a tornado confirmed to have touched down? Uh, you know, it's it's hard to tell really, you know, without actually going to the mm. site. We saw that damage, but sometimes you know it's those strong straight line winds. Sometimes yes, it is a tornado. This time it ended up being an EF zero, which is the lowest on our enhanced Vegeta scale, but still a very powerful system nonetheless. Earlier in the week, and now we're still dealing with just a different side of the same system as it spirals off to the north. It now brings in that cold air, and now this morning we have some snow across the region. Getting reports of snow across the Poconos. Back towards Reading and Lancaster as well. Maybe a couple of flurries towards Allentown. No official snow being reported there, but it's just something to keep an eye out on. And this area of kind of light flurry activity could work its way as far south as the Philadelphia region here this morning. So don't be overly surprised. We're not going to see any kind of sustained snow in Philly, but a couple of flurries not totally ruled out. By lunchtime, still cloudy. Temperatures trying to be in the 40s, but it's still going to be a very chilly afternoon, feeling like the 30s most of the day with highs only in the mid 40s. And then tomorrow, Tomorrow, we finally start to clear it out. We'll go with some sunshine tomorrow as well. So, feels like forecast gives you in the 20s here this morning. We're talking about temperatures staying in the 30s, at least from a feels like perspective all afternoon. 46 for the official high, 50 tomorrow, 52 on Friday. Next best chance for rain will come to start the weekend on Saturday, Jim.